How does a writer give evidence that supports their reasons in an opinion essay? In this lesson, you will learn how to give evidence that supports your reasons by looking for details in the text and filling in your graphic organizer. Where do I get my evidence from? Well, evidence for your reasons comes from the text you are reading and must connect with your reason. The difference between evidence and reasons are that even though both come from the text, your evidence provides support to your reason. This makes your reason stronger and explains how your reason supports your opinion. Remember, we are working to answer this prompt about the tale of Peter Rabbit. Our prompt is asking us to write our opinion to the question, do you think Peter Rabbit will ever go back into Mr. McGregor's garden? We have our three reasons now. Then we're going to go back into the text looking for evidence to support our reasons. Let's review the writing process. We have already completed steps one and steps two by rereading our text and thinking about the prompt. We have also introduced our text, determined our opinion, and developed three reasons for it. For this lesson, we will continue to generate and plan our writing by looking for details in our text that support our reasons. Then, once our plan is complete, we will move on to drafting and revising, and last, editing and publishing. Here's a graphic organizer we are using. We have our introduction completed along with our three reasons that support our opinion. For this lesson, we will focus on finding evidence from the text to support our reasons. The first step in our lesson will be to reread the reasons on your graphic organizer. Step two, review the text looking for evidence that supports each reason. And then step three, fill in your graphic organizer with your evidence from the text. Well, let me think of my first reason. Peter developed a stomach ache after eating lots of vegetables. I listed that on the top of my sticky note. And I need to think about how and why this reason supports my opinion that Peter will never go back into the garden. I'm just going to reread that section of the text right after Peter eats the vegetables to find my evidence that supports my reason and opinion. Well, first he ate some lettuce and some French beans, and then he ate some radishes. And then, feeling rather sick, he went to look for some parsley. Well, he went to go look for parsley after his stomach was not feeling well, and he wanted to feel better. But this just started a whole sequence of events in the garden. Then, but round the end of a cucumber frame, whom should he meet but Mr. McGregor? Oh no, Mr. McGregor found him. Mr. McGregor was on his hands and knees planting out young cabbages, but he jumped up and ran after Peter, waving a rake, calling out, Stop, thief! Well, then I know that Mr. McGregor chased Peter with a rake, calling him a thief. Notice that my ideas in my sticky note are not written in complete sentences. When you brainstorm your ideas and take notes, just jot down your thoughts. When you draft your essay, that is where you'll be able to take your notes and you'll write them into complete sentences. All right, let's take a look at our organizer. I just added my notes to my evidence box for reason one. My next step will be to repeat the same steps I took in finding evidence for my first reason and do the same with my other two reasons. Here's reason two and the evidence that goes along with it. He lost his shoes and the cabbage and the potatoes. He was caught in a gooseberry net, almost trapped in a sieve. He lost his jacket, wet after hiding in a watering can, feeling scared and lost. These support my reason too. Terrible things happened to Peter while being chased by Mr. McGregor. Okay, let's take a look at my reason three. He was very tired when he finally made it home. Well, here's my evidence I found to support that flopped down on the floor and went to sleep not feeling well. Mom put him to bed, gave him a dose of chamomile tea. He missed eating a yummy supper of milk, bread, and blackberries. So here's what our organizer looks like now. 
the only thing I need to finish is my concluding statement. So in our next lesson, we'll learn how to do that. So let's review our writing process. We are almost finished with our planning. So we have one more part to do in generating planning before we get to our draft. So let's review the steps that we took to find the evidence. We reread the reasons on our graphic organizer. For step two, we reviewed the text, looking for evidence that supports each reason. And then last, for step three, we filled in the graphic organizer with our evidence from the text. In this lesson, you have learned how to give evidence that supports your reasons by looking for details in the text and filling in your graphic organizer.